Welcome to ED Connections, where we are live and connected. I'm Suzanne Arnett, Regional Director of Clinical Partnerships. The Sela Eating Disorder Network is comprised of Magnolia Creek, Sela House, and Toledo Center for Eating Disorders. We meet clients where they are in their recovery. We provide the necessary therapeutic techniques to empower sustainable freedom. Our expert clinical teams help clients understand recovery is possible by using individualized treatment plans comprised of a combination of evidence-based treatment modalities. Our goal is to make each client feel safe and close to home by conducting all levels of care in a home-like setting. It's designed to offer a clear step-down process so clients feel continually supported in their recovery journey. Today, we feature Magnolia Creek Treatment Center for Eating Disorders located near Birmingham, Alabama. This program specializes in treating women 18 and older with co-occurring substance use disorders. We are excited to talk about a special team of people at Magnolia Creek. Ms. Valerie Wooten joins us and she heads up the team of recovery care specialists at Magnolia Creek. Welcome, Ms. Val. Nice to be here. Good, we're so glad you're here. Now tell everybody, what is a recovery care specialist? A recovery care specialist is here to assist the clients in any way possible. We are here to provide all of their needs to get them uh, adjusted to the program, get them settled in, and to continue to support them throughout their recovery. Now that doesn't sound like a very easy job. You guys are with our clients 24 seven. It's you all in nursing that are always there. How do you prepare to be a recovery care specialist? Um, we do training and um, the training just depends on how fast the, um, the trainee grasps the, uh, the training, but we'll continue the training if it takes longer. But we train them on um, things to say and what not to say, uh, table talk because because they're recovering from an eating disorder, they cannot just say anything at the table. We don't talk about food at the table. So we're trained to, um, to listen to them when they want somebody to listen to or uh, offer our advice. If a client have a meltdown, we are instructed to um, refer them, take them to the nurse, or call their primary therapist to uh, speak with them if they want to, uh, to talk to somebody during that time. That's a tough job. It's like you have to wear so many different hats and be ready for anything in that role. How many years have you worked at Magnolia Creek? Five years. Wow, that's awesome. Congratulations. What's the most rewarding thing about your job at Mag Creek? I think being able to see somebody that is getting ready to depart and that you've had a part in that, in that recovery process. Um, it's a, it's an awesome feeling from day to day because a lot of times you can just say good morning or you look nice today and it actually makes their day. So it lets you know that I didn't get up and come to work in vain. I'm helping somebody in a simple way sometimes or taking them, taking them out. I have taken clients during this COVID season. I have taken clients just to the drugstore to pick up their meds. And they thank me two and three times. Like, thank you. It was good to get out of the house. You know, thank you for taking me. So uh, just to know that at the end of the day, you've done something or said something to, uh, to help them along their recovery is, is very rewarding. That's wonderful. And a little birdie told me that apparently you get some letters sometimes from clients who <laughs> are about to graduate the program. What can you tell me about those special letters and things they say to you? It's amazing. Um, I used to, uh, when they give them to me, I would pop them open. And I stopped doing that because it's 
so emotional sometimes. I Now I just take them and stick them in my back pocket and, and I tell them I'll read it because they be wanting you to read it in front of them. But uh, I tell them I read it and uh, it, 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 a lot of the times it brings me to tears because they're just telling me how I've imparted on their recovery in a lot of times you don't even know it. You know, like they'll, they'll say, you took out the time to show me how to, how laundry is to be separated or is something simple. Uh, you took out the time to take me back to my room and show me the proper way to make my bed or you said something to me or you, um, you shared something with me that was personal to you. So it, any, any way that, that you that you share with them or impart on them, they are receptive to it. And they, they tell you in those notes that they feel loved, that they felt the love when they were, you know, when they were here. So it's, to me, it's all worth it. I believe um, that. That sounds amazing. Um, well, you have certainly, you know, made an impression on, um, our, our team members, even as employees, as well as the, as the clients. And not long ago, we posted a feature about you on our Facebook page. Um, just, you know, saying, here's Miss Val. And little did we know that some former clients would reach out and write some comments. So I wanted to share a couple of those. Mm -hmm. uh, one person says, I love and miss Miss Val so much. She made me feel so welcome and safe during an extremely hard time in my life. She cared for each of us like we were her own kids, but knew how to give us a good talking to when we needed the extra push and tough love. <laughs> and in, in another one, it says, Miss Val is a special lady who loves the Lord and has a caring heart for many. I always love listening to her and all her stories she would share. She makes the best oatmeal and could always put a smile on my face. I love you, Miss Val. And thank you for all you so lovingly do for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's so special. Um, thank you. That's awesome. Well, we are thrilled you have been with us so long and you mean so much to the ladies we treat every day. So this is our virtual way of, of telling you how much we love you and our clients love you. And, you know, when we, when we hear from them, they want to know if you're still there. And it, you know, mm -hmm. how you're doing. <laughs> so you are much loved. Um, so we appreciate you and your team. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Suzanne. Sure. For more information about our eating disorder network of programs, or if someone or you happen to know someone who's suffering from an eating disorder, we are here and ready to help. You can visit our website at magnolia-creek.com and contact our admissions team 24-7. That phone number is 205-678-4373. Or you can always private message us on social media like Facebook, um, Instagram, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. From myself, Miss Val, and the team at Magnolia Creek, thank you for joining us today. And we are ready to help. We invite you to join us as we walk into freedom. Have a good day.